Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Training Reviews. So this is the Rode Wireless Go, and if you're thinking about connecting this to your laptop, whether you have a MacBook or a Windows, then this is the tutorial for you. So let me show you how we can do that. All right guys, so just before we begin, most laptops, whether it's a MacBook or Windows, will not have a dedicated mic input. So this one has a headphone jack there on the right hand side for my MacBook Pro. And most laptops will have only a headphone jack. So there's an additional adapter that you will need to buy to make sure this works. And this is something like this. This is a headphone and microphone splitter cable. So this side will go into your headphone port onto your laptop. And then you have two splitters here. You should see some symbols on them to show which one is which. So this one is the headphone one and this one is the microphone input. So now that you can split it, you can now use an external microphone with your laptop. So let me go ahead and plug this into my headphone port. There we go. And now for the microphone input, all you have to do is connect the Rode Wireless Go. So all you have to do is use this Rode Wireless Go cable that comes inside the box and connect this to the receiver. And then you will put the receiver end into the mic input here in the splitter cable. And then I will use this to record audio. And I will connect the sleeve here just to get rid of any background noise. So now they're on and they're connected. So all we need to do is test it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this. I'm currently using my shotgun microphone to record this video. So I'm going to switch the audio recording to using my internal microphone on my MacBook and give you a comparison. And then I'll play the recording through the Rode Wireless Go through my MacBook as well. So let me show you how I can do that. Okay guys, so now I'm recording this video using the internal microphone on my MacBook Pro. Now the MacBook Pro usually has a good inbuilt mic anyway, so you should get some good quality audio because I'm in a very quiet room as well. But I'm going to show you a comparison when I switch over to the Rode Wireless Go. Okay guys, now let me go ahead and plug this in. So this is connected. Now what I need to do is go into my settings here. Go into sound and then if I go into input, you can see that there's an external microphone connected as well, which is through the microphone port, which is actually through the adapter on this cable. So this is connected, so now I'm going to start recording the audio through the Rode Wireless Go. I'll just basically clip this on to a tripod. And now I will start the recording using the Rode Wireless Go, which is recording directly into this app I'm using called Voice Recorder on my MacBook Pro. Hey guys, so now I'm using the Rode Wireless Go microphone to record my voice inside my MacBook Pro. So let me know what you guys think do you hear the difference and is it a lot better than just the inbuilt mic? Now the good thing about this is that I can take this with me anywhere. It's portable, I'll just use this as a handheld mic. And if I have two of these, this is perfect to do podcasts with. So that's about it guys. This is a quick and easy tutorial of how to set up the Rode Wireless Go with your laptops. Now if you do have any problems, then do drop a comment below. I'll try to help out as much as I can. Whether you have a MacBook or a Windows laptop, just make sure you go into the settings and make sure the external microphone has been detected and it is connected to your laptop. Then it should work fine. So that's it guys. Hopefully that was useful. If you like this uh, tutorial, then do this, give this video a thumbs up. Otherwise I hope you subscribe and I will catch you guys next time. Take care. Yeah.